So the coin sort of uses gravity and the different diameter of the coins to split them out even though the 2 and the 5 have pretty similar diameters same as the dollar and the 10 they're different enough that they can be split out so the $2 has a diameter of roughly 20.4 and the 5 has a diameter of 19.3 so you've got 1.1 mil there to play with but that's enough so I made the prototype coin sorter and a 6 mil MDF for this version I'm going to use 6 mil marine plywood So now that I've got the back cut and the dividers, I have to put a dado in each divider so that the rails can fit behind them. And to do that I'm just going to tape these up with these two end plates of scrap and check that out with the table saw. Now that that dado is cut, I have to cut the angle on the bottom of the dividers. As you can see, the coin sorter itself is tipped forward a little bit. That's so the coins, when they're in the slot, right up against this top piece. And when, as that tapers out and the coin gets too small for the guide, the coin will fall into the money box itself. So that angle is roughly 6 degrees. So now that we've got the back, the dividers, the sides and the top and bottom finished we can take the measurements from the prototype and transfer them onto the back and then we can assemble. Here I make a bit of a mistake, I glue on both the sides but with both sides glued on you can't insert the coin guides later on so just after this I pull one of the sides off before the glue sets up luckily so I leave one side off and the top so you can get those coin guides in later also I'm bratting it together here using some very small brads
pile of those frames are drying, I'll make the two coin channels. So you can see that the bottom rail is made up of two pieces and one slightly stepped above the other. That's to hold the coin in and the top rail is offset with two shims either end the width of the widest coin. So we'll make those two pieces out of this piece of digging. So now I've got it held together with clamps, we'll give it a bit of a test run to see if it needs any adjustment. So the angle's not enough by the looks. Take two. It took a little while but I've got it tuned up and it's working well. I had to add this little piece that ensures the coin falls into the slot and doesn't ride across the outer piece here. So I screwed the top rail on the right hand side, it's the only one that will be sort of permanently fixed, the rest will be more or less floating or sort of bolted so you can adjust them later on just in case anything comes out of line. So you can see that this hole that the screw comes through is oversized but this allows for some adjustment.
I'm just going to shave a little bit of this top ridge down on this back segment. Just show you why. So the 50 gets caught right there. So if I just shave a little bit off, that should fix that. So here's the finished product. I screwed on the Perspex front and I gave it a few coats of water based varnish. On the back here you can see the adjustment knobs and then the top there that's the coin slot. So it came up really nice and it works really well as too so I'm happy with that. So I'll give it one last test run. Beautiful. I hope you enjoyed watching.